actually had this moment, and I would say, like, this is really a turning point of kind of, like, what brought me to SMU, in a sense, is I went out with my girlfriends um, in downtown LA, and we all got, like, our little black dresses, and... Um, Girls Night is upon us. Yeah. I and like so it. We were at, I think it's, like, 72nd floor or something in Los Angeles. It's okay. A beautiful restaurant. Yep. And um, great we views of the leave. city. Like we had a nice night, and I remember looking back, and there was a mirror behind me, and my back was so huge and chiseled, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god!" And my girlfriends looked so beautiful and feminine, and I was like, "I don't want to look like this anymore." Like I was like, "I want to just be a woman." Like I just want to like. I know it sounds a little silly, but like I just want to like embrace my femininity. Sure. And I think at that point, kind of like I got into this mindset. It was all very quick, honestly. Like I, I kind of stopped lifting after that. I decided that I was going to move on. Really? So that yeah. was it, and you were just done with lifting. Yeah, I wanted wow. my body to like deflate, and okay. it took about. I mean, it takes a while, like right? Five months of like doing nothing, and I mean, I still have some of the muscle, but yeah. I mean, I'm definitely a lot less, and I'm very happy with where I am. I like feel really good. Yeah, so, like, at that point, like, all of a sudden, I started to get back into the mindset of, like, okay, so, like, I'm not really, you know, fully looking at my PTOS as, like, a problem. Like, you know, there's going to be a certain point where, like, okay, like, I'm going to want to have a baby. I'm going to want to have kids. And I was, like, I, like, with powerlifting, I ended up having an abscess of my period again because I just had too high of testosterone. So, like, I was, like, messing with my body's hormones too much. You're like your own chemist. Yeah. Right? You're yeah. realizing sort of, and I guess you were at the extremes. I was at the extreme for sure. Yep. From there, I just started to like, I was like, I'm going to take this really seriously. But like, I didn't want to go back to the doctor. Like I already knew I had PCOS. I already knew that that's what they would do. Um, and so like, I was kind of looking into like, okay, do I just go back to my old regimen? Do I go back to acupuncture? Mm. And I decided to just kind of take it into my own hands and like start to just experiment with vitamins minerals and everything okay so pretty much literally how smooth ended up being created was i had been like working on i just kept stacking vitamins and like it was like a lot of research i did so like, but on your own body also yeah, right You're, exactly okay and so and like a lot of trial and error but like i really like everything i felt like i tried like it had its own benefit and i honestly felt so good like i was taking all these things and I had so much energy. My period. Were you journaling? Days. Were you like writing down notes of how you um, felt, or? I was. I was I, like super <clears> detailed, <throat> but I okay. think like at that point, like I already had kind of like this concept in mind, and sure. it's like, okay, this is good. Like this isn't good, you know. And playing with the milligrams and playing with the amounts and everything. And was it, was it purely capsules that you're taking, or were you? Purely capsules. Okay, got it. At this point, like I'm literally taking like I was taking twelve pills, and mm-hmm. it was like. Tiring. Like, I was like, I feel so good. Inexpensive, and, I imagine. I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you know, like, and I'm like literally like reordering on Amazon each month. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I was just like taking so many a day. But, like, honestly, I had like the biggest difference. I mean, I had really got cystic acne, which is a lot of times from high testosterone, totally went away. I mean, I was like, had, not to be TMI, but I had, like back acne and like chest acne and face acne. And it was like, so bad. I'm like, why do I have this? And I had no period. And like my energy sucked. Like I was always fatigued. And like seriously, wow. like, the biggest difference I felt was like all of those things went away. And I was like, this is mind blowing. Like it's like, oh my god, this is amazing. That's really cool. And I started to like give it to also my friends, even just like ones who didn't have PCOS, and like they also had very like similar experiences. Like and so for instance, like my sister, she has nothing. But she's like, I've never felt this amazing before ever. Because what like so many women don't realize is like they might have a minor hormone imbalance and maybe sure. it just takes a little bit to bring your body back to where it's supposed to be. And I feel like most women don't realize the effects of hormone imbalance until menopause. For sure. Right? That's yeah. kind of when they first start learning, like, why am I feeling this way? And it's because yeah. they're an imbalance, but the the society and everyone that's you're supposed to feel that way when you go through menopause. Exactly. People look at PMS as normal. I'm like, PMS is not normal. Like, that's a hormonal imbalance. Like, you should not be having PMS. Well, this is just fascinating to me because for the first time since really hitting puberty, now it seems like you have an answer 
for all of the things that you've been unhappy with, with your body, you know, like things that you couldn't necessarily figure out all of a sudden are now solvable. And you know, what, what is that feeling like? Just like you have complete control over a part of you that you thought was just like gone forever. I mean, it's really, I mean, it's really, really cool. I mean, it's, been really awesome experience that I think like nothing really beats the fact that like okay for one I feel amazing but like two being able to like now bring it to other people who've like literally been in the place or are in the place that where I was like it's really been so cool to like get these out to people and see the difference it's been making in people and I think like I wouldn't trade any of my past just because Mm. like it's been so Freaking, like, excuse my language. Yeah, you can swear. Really you a, can it's swear. It's not really a cuss word, so, like, it feels like freaking is, like, amazing. Honestly, like, I just wish there was something like this years ago. years ago. There's so much that I am today because of those things. Like, I think it really taught me some, like, good lessons. Like, I, I was really determined. I really never gave up, and I regret on some of the years I missed out of, like, my social life and everything. But, like, I don't know. I mean, like, this feeling right now is amazing. And, like, I can't look back and, like, regret those things. So, I mean, the best thing I can say is...